Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll learn how to make packaging designs in minutes easily. Let's get started. Go to the Pactora website. I will share the link in the video description. Pactora is an online packaging design tool that allows users to customize their packaging with their own images, logos, and text. You can easily make product mockups in minutes. Pactora gives you the ability to change the dimensions, colors, and materials of your packaging, as well as add your own branding elements. And best of all, you can see a 3D preview of your design before you order. So whether you're a small business owner looking for unique packaging for your products, or a graphic designer wanting to experiment with 3D packaging design, Pactora is the perfect tool for you. There are three different tools for making packaging design. The Mockups Generator allows you to create your mockups in seconds with over 4,900 customizable templates. The Die Lines Generator allows you to easily create templates that include the dimensions, folds, and cut lines necessary to create the final packaging. The 3D Design tool allows you to simply create 3D mockups with a stunning scene and render your design to a realistic image. It provides a variety of scene templates to meet the promotional needs of different products or brands. Let's see how the platform works. First, sign up to Pacdora for free with your Google account or email address. Click on the Mockups tab. There are many kinds of customizable 3D mockups here. You can select any product packaging category in the left panel, like boxes, bottles and jugs, food packaging, and so on. Or, you can simply search for your packaging keywords. Let's search for Coke can. Select your mock-up model and click the edit. You can customize the existing material. There are two areas in this mock-up we can customize. Open up the area A and change the color. Metalness value controls how metallic the material looks. The higher values look more metallic and the lower values look less metallic. Roughness value controls how reflective the material looks. You can adjust the transmission value to create effects like glass, water, or other translucent materials. The opacity value controls the transparency of the material. Let's open up the surface panel and set the metalness value to zero. Now, you can upload your own label design that contains your logo, image, and text. Click the upload your image on the mockup. It supports JPEG, PNG, and SVG formats. You can align your design with your mockup die line. And best of all, you can preview the changes in the 3D viewport at the top right corner. That's amazing. Or you can design the product label with Pacdora. Go to the Inspirations and click the Inspirations tab. Select any design you want to add. You can customize the design as you wish. How sweet is that? You can also add some shapes and packaging symbols to your mock-up. Once you are done with your design, Click the Save button. All right. Before exporting the model, you can change the background color. Click the Background tab and select any background color. You can also add a gradient background. Or you can add any background image.
Moreover, you can choose a transparent background. So, you can export your design with a transparent background and overlay the design on another image. If you are happy with your design, click the Super Export button. There are five different export options here. The first one is mock-up rendering in 4K quality. Select any aspect ratio at the bottom. You can select JPEG or PNG format. There are two different render options, 4K quality fast speed and 4K quality slow speed that uses cloud rendering technology and lifelike effects are achieved. The first scene has been rendered by the fast render. The second scene has been rendered by the slow render. The second one looks more realistic. You can see the reflections on the table. Another export option is dye line. Dye lines show the dimensions, folds, and cut lines necessary to create the final packaging. You can download the dye line belonging to your mock-up and design your own images, logos, and text on it. If you want to print your design, you can choose CMYK color mode. If you want to use it as a digital image, you can choose RGB mode. You can also download the dye line in different formats. PDF files are available for printing. AI files can be further edited with Adobe Illustrator software. DXF files can be further edited with AutoCAD software. Another cool export option is video. Just select any video style and get rendered videos up to 2K quality. So, you can create impressive product promotional videos. You can also generate an HTML code to embed the 3D package design on your website or Shopify page. Your customers can interact with the design in real time. Moreover, you can share the results of the mock-up with your clients or colleagues. In order to get your design rendered and downloaded, you need to upgrade to the Pactora Pro version, so you can unlimited export of 4K mock-up rendering files and 2K video rendering files for over 4,900 packaging. Personal Pro also includes unlimited export of precise die line files for over 2,900 packaging, unlimited use of advanced features in 3D design tool and die line generator, unlimited cloud content storage space, removal of all watermarks and copyright restrictions from all content, friendly customer service support. If you select the annual subscription plan, you will get 44% off. Moreover, if you subscribe to Pactora with the code I provided, you will have an extra 20% discount at the checkout. I will share the exclusive discount code in the video description. Another cool feature is the 3D Design Tool. Click the 3D Design Tool button and switch to the editor. 3D Design Tool provides a variety of scene templates to meet the promotional needs of different products or brands. Besides, you can create your own custom scenes, adjust the background, and control lighting. You can move, rotate, and scale your mock-up in the scene by the gizmo. You can add another mock-up to the scene. You can also add any 3D asset from the Pactora library. Moreover, you can change the lighting in the scene. In the Advanced tab, you can change the light source angle. If you are happy with the result, go to the Super Render and render your design. Alright, let's create a simple pizza box mock-up using Pactora's Die Line Generator. Click the Template and Die Lines tab. Search for Pizza Boxes and select any template that suits your needs. Die Line is a template that shows the outline of a package design. It typically includes the dimensions, folds, and cut lines necessary to create the final packaging. Graphics designers use die lines as a guide to ensure that their artwork aligns correctly and fits within the packaging's boundaries. There are three different colored lines in a die line. The green line is bleed. Bleed is an extra space beyond the trim edge of the die line. This helps avoid having any white gaps if the coloring or printing doesn't line up perfectly. Trim is the final size of your print product after it's been cut. This is represented by the blue line. It's like using scissors to cut along a dotted line on a craft project. In packaging, crease lines show where to fold the material to make the box or package. This is represented by the red dotted lines. They're like guidelines, so the folds happen in the right places. All right, 
You can customize the box size according to your needs. Let's set the length and width values to 300 mm and the height value to 50 mm. You can set the box size on the template or you can use the left panel. You can open and close the mock-up and preview at the top right corner. There are four different file formats to download the die line. I want to import the die line into Adobe Illustrator and make the design in the program. So, let's download the die line as an Adobe Illustrator file. Open the Adobe Illustrator file. Click the Layers tab. Rename the layer as Die Line. Add a new layer and rename the background. Add another one and rename Design. Move the background layer down. Select the bleed line and copy it. Go back to Layers and select the background layer. Paste the bleed line in place. Lock the dye line layer and disable the visibility. Switch to Fill Mode and fill the layer with an orange color. Lock the background layer. Select the design layer. Go to the Properties tab. I'm going to use the Text to Vector Graphics tool to create a design. This is the new AI tool improved in Adobe Illustrator 2024. Simply type your prompt in the box and generate. It will generate three variations. Select the best for you. Add your logo, text, and slogan. You can unhide the die line layer and put your designs in a proper place on the template. Once your design is done, go to the file menu and export it as PNG or JPEG formats. Set the resolution to high resolution and export. Go back to the Pactora, go to the 3D design tool and upload the image we have just created. Align the image with your die line template. That's it. If you are happy with the result, click the Save button. You can edit your final scene and get rendered. As you can see, you can easily create a packaging design in minutes using Pactora. Best of all, no design experience is required. So whether you're a small business owner looking for unique packaging for your products, or a graphic designer wanting to experiment with 3D packaging design, Pactora is the perfect tool for you. Subscribe to Pactora now with my promo code and get an extra percent 120 discount. Create your next packaging design in minutes. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.